Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's Choose the Right Chapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Are we going live? We're live. That's DJ. Bill Bellamy's going live. We're That's going my live. Dude right there, man. That's I right. I love these dudes. Oh, they look at this. Here, man. Oh. They make their We're own live. Lead. It's great. No. <laughs> All right. You can do, you're doing two shows, you got, yo, 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 you got two shows going on. Are we going live? We're, We're live, live right on here. my Instagram right now. We got Vicky handle your Instagram. Vicky, you, you got us. Show Vicky for Vicky, your your Instagram Vicky followers. Yeah. Exactly. Oh wow, that was a shot. Thank you, Vic. <laughs> Jeez, that was a, that, that was really good. Cleavage cam, right rice there. cam. Yeah. And we were off the air. Just in case you guys think we just go away, we keep talking. Yeah. You got, and then we got to. You know, tune in the fans on what we were talking yes. about, right? We were having moments, of, of really cool moments. We're doing a snack thing. The lines are lit. I'm getting texts from my boss. My buddy Sue B says, "Yeah, what those, up, those, Sue? Those host, Sue's like hostess pies for the win." Ah! Oh yeah, she's all about that. Yo, man, you can't. You can't really top a, a ding dong, though, bro. Ding dong, and what was <laughs> no, the other one can't. that was? Are we talking? still talking snacks? Wait, just ho hos, a ho ho. Can't top that either. And the was... ding dong go together, bro. These are our favorite snacks when we were kids. We're just talking t- top three ever. Vicky tried to pull up with the fruit roll ups because yeah. her family, you know, she wouldn't eat apples and stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when you're a poor Mexican girl, that's the closest I got. She's to fruit, like man. a fruit roll up. They just smashed up some cranberries and rolled them up, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but also too, um, we, we're stumbling on things that we didn't know, right? Things we didn't know. Like I did not know it was porn on Twitter. Oh, it's the best, yeah, dude. <laughs> That. What is going on? Whenever someone's like, I don't know if like, I should get Twitter. Like, when did they start doing that? Like, I didn't know they had that on Twitter, bro. Like, and it's all day. No, it's the Wild West on Twitter. Bro. Because Instagram, I you was get like, flagged whoa. and you get deleted if you have any nudity. On Twitter, Twitter it's full is on. full throttle. Yeah. You send it, I tweet it. It's amazing you're still doing it. <laughs> it's amazing. because How can you do that? Kids on there, bro. Didn't Tumblr just say, guess what? No nudes. What, what, what's Tumblr? up with Tumblr, man? Yeah, I think they also I, I don't banded. know what Tumblr is. Tumblr. Tumblr. Vic, it's, it's, it's I, she of, would. She would know Tumblr. I, I usually uh, avoid the Tumblr <laughs> except like, yeah. for porn. Okay, you, you do everything else. You read the blogs. Yeah, well, no, of course I, you do, Vicky. I don't read the blogs. I look at the porn. The porn, of course, you're real chick. Okay, okay. So uh, Tumblr, I just heard the other day, is shutting it down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? All my Tumblr people are they are they sick? Or is it moment of silence? What's going on? They switch to Twitter. <laughs> I can't You're believe, not yeah. shutting down porn, obviously. I can't believe Twitter does allow that, though. It's I mean, insane. For as big as they are. And Why you know, would they oh. do that? Like, I mean, I mean, I didn't expect it. Like, I didn't oh. see it coming. Like, you know, and, it, and, 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 and it just dep- it'll just randomly show up in your feed. And I literally, I was like in Macy's. <laughs> and I got embarrassed. <laughs> you ever have something come in your phone? You're like, oh. <laughs> the yeah, Twitter's the one that I will not scroll when you I'm cannot, sitting next like, to my wife. You can't be in church and be on Twitter. No, because you might not like you, make it to heaven. Even if you don't, <laughs> <laughs> no, your door is closed. Door, door is, is closed. shut down, bro. And it's not like it's if you're following the, the porn stars. If, if one of your no, friends, you don't even have to retweets do, it, dude. You don't have to do nothing. You'll just somebody that follows you just will tweet something to yep. you, mm-hmm. and, and you got it in your timeline, bro. It's on you. It's like tag you're it. <laughs> yeah, clearly doing this wrong you need the privacy screen what's the privacy screen can you look you can see my screen right now yeah 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 can you look at it can you see it now see that oh that's the porn screen we call it yeah anyone yeah. who has that screen yes. i'm like For they're all up to no the good. people oh, yeah. that do real stuff on your phone yeah privacy screen yep. gangsta so she could watch something crazy like, ha, ha. screen bro yeah it's like no i'm i'm reading bible verses i don't know what yo you're about. that's like the fake screen on your um laptop Remember yeah. at work? Yeah. So if your boss come, ping, 
Do they even have those anymore? You and I remember those. Yeah. You hit Alt Z or something or Control Y'all, do, something. Do you remember that yeah. they had like that on, on computer screens? So if you had at your job or whatever and you were looking at something that was inappropriate and you know somebody come up, you just be like bing, and that should be like Pff. it'd be like <laughs> it'd like a show a spreadsheet or something. It'd be a spreadsheet. But if anybody ever tried to go, hey, do some typing, let me oh, see you if that's can't a real type thing. You can't type on it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember those. See, this is these these are the good days, people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody says oh, this is a weird transition. Uh, they were always down with liquor sticks. Ah! I bet you they were. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Some of these people really get off on some of this, these terms. Like we started with the ding dong right. and the ho ho. That's right. Now it's liquor stick. <laughs> liquor stick. As soon as we start talking about porn, see what happened? Yeah, what happened to them liquor sticks? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, Bill, because you think about it, these were stuff for kids. Yes. And these were adults naming them, going, oh, you don't want us to be too crazy around kids. And they come up with these names and go, who let them name some a ho ho or a ding a ding dong? A grown in the first person. Place? Yeah. A grown person. Probably a, a guy, probably, probably a dude. It's like, man, we need some ho hos. Oh man, and a ding dong. Yeah, why wasn't it a ding ding? See, or but ding a link? A, a ding a link? No, it was a <laughs> ding. <dong. laughs> yeah, no, it was a ding damn dong. Ding is what it was. No, we talking about the best. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> talking to us. Bill's got two shows going it's on Instagram Live. Hey, we yes. have a text message. Uh, go ahead. Message here. It's actually a little bit of a serious conversation or a fun conversation. But, Let's go. Uh, can you ask Bill about what he thinks about the whole Kevin Hart situation? What's that? What oh, you- all right. Well, we'll bring you up to speed. Okay. We, got, we have audio and everything, so we'll bring you up to speed. Uh, Kevin Hart, as you know, a couple days ago was named uh, host of the Oscars. He was very excited. Uh, a okay. lot of folks thought this was a great thing for him because yeah, a lot of short know. jokes, like "Oh, I guess they want the Oscars to be shorter." Yeah, and I'd actually done some, you know, done some reading and thought that Kevin was really like so excited. He thought this would be really good for his career, and he was yeah. taking it seriously. It's, a, it's definitely a huge yeah. honor. And he was out. He's out. He's that fast? That fast. What so, happened? Somebody dug up some homophobic comments he posted on Twitter 10 years ago. And Kevin did respond by saying, hey, this is old news. He's matured since then. The Academy asked him to apologize. And here's Kevin's response where he refuses to apologize. So I just got a call from the Academy. And um, that call basically said, Kevin, apologize for your tweets of old. Or we're going to have to move on to find another host. Talking about the tweets in 2009, 2010. I chose to pass. I passed on the apology. The reason why I passed because I've addressed this several times. This is not the first time this has come up. I've addressed it. I've spoken on it. I've said where the rights and wrongs were. I've said who I am now versus who I was then. I've done it. I'm not going to continue to go back and tap into the days of old when I moved on and I'm in a completely different space in my life. The same energy that went into finding those old tweets could be the same energy put into finding the response to the questions that have been asked years cool. after years after years. We feed in the internet trolls and we reward them. I'm not wow. going to do it, man. I'm going to be me. I'm going to stay in my ground. Regardless, Academy, I'm thankful and appreciative of the opportunity. If it goes away, no harm, no foul. Wow. See that up, down. Yeah. See, see. I, let me, my thoughts on this. First of all, Kevin Hart is one of my guys. He's one of my friends, man. I love his success. I love everything I like that he's honest. Mm-hmm. I like that he addressed it head on, like, boom. You know what I'm saying? That was, he, he owned it. It was something I said. He's a comedian, too. Probably, I, I don't know what it was. Yeah, they were. I mean, you read those I'm tweets. Sure you read just, those tweets. I mean, I mean, I assume anybody who's a performer when they go on and say stuff, they're performing. Plus, it was ten years like, ago. We're but if, comedians. A lot of yeah. the stuff that I say a lot of times is inappropriate, right? But I'm not trying to be a politician. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not going to be in a situation or try to be the perfect guy because I'm not. Like, you know what I mean. That's not who I am. But when you go with the Oscars, yeah. the Oscars, that is. Yeah. Oh my God, you've only had a Trisket, right? Yeah. Like yeah. it is as white as you can get. Like you, this is like it's 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 crystal clean. You know, all the jokes have to be approved. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to make sure you don't disrespect anything. Nothing anti-Semitic. Nothing this. Nothing that. We're going to support the LBGQSTIV community. I just don't know all the letters. I'm just saying them fast. Just throwing out as many but, as you but, can. But what I'm saying is you have to be so conscious because they expect a certain pedigree. Do you understand that? Yeah. So when you sign up for the job, that's what it is. But what I think is like, why would somebody go find that? 
because maybe they didn't want him to be the host. Well, I think brought up a good point. The whole, I mean, at first when you like, see that headline, you, he refuses would you do to that? apologize. I'm like, okay, why isn't he going to refuse to apologize? And this is a great lesson of <laughs> dig into the story. And then you listen to his clip, and it's like, oh, he has apologized. How many more times can he apologize about the same thing? And it's like, if you're going to look up the tweet, look up the apology as well. Here's the sad thing, because a little later, he actually steps down, he resigns, and then he does apologize, which is like, well, dude, why would you step down? They said all you got to do is apologize, which he just did because he did later. And it was a really nice apology. He said he was deeply sorry if he offended anybody. Yes. But he steps down. But it, So I, I'm a little, I think, a little confused because the I, Academy I, I said think, they'd let, let him do it. Let me tell you. Let they me tell you. Stay. Being, being an entertainer in, uh, in the Hollywood thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? Because now we got social media and, yeah. and, you know, people have things. That, even with radio, I might say a joke that goes too far, right? But I'm, I'm if most most people who knows Bill Bellamy is like, no, I'm never in in any way a hateful way. It's just funny. Like I'm just trying to make people laugh, right? But what you know, I might say something inappropriate, and somebody might save that joke. Mm-hmm. I don't know, ten years, and then say, well, why did you say this about ho hosts? <laughs> No, you're right, Bill. You no, know, but I mean, I'm ten saying. Years, ten years is ten a years long of, ten time. Ten years is a change. gap, bro. Yeah, we change. We all have said something ten years. But I'm saying, but why would they dig it up when he, they say he's going to host the Oscars as before, like three weeks before that? Because they're people are just hateful, hateful people. Yeah. They're just miserable. Right? I'm just saying, like the dude gets a great, great accolade, and and then boom. I, the, the other thing that happened like that to me that I thought was a travesty. It was just so bad was when um, Sandra Bullock won the Oscar the same night it was like they dropped a story that her husband oh yeah it was like why would they drop that story tonight that's why I don't even remember Dude, it was leads. unbelievable she finally got her Oscar she was like on cloud nine. She was like accepted as an elite actress in the community. And then they dropped the bomb like her husband had an affair with yeah, the tattoo girl. Right. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. You you could, James. Y'all, yeah. Couldn't, yeah. y'all couldn't yeah. drop she that story yeah. the next day to give this woman like. Kat Von D, right? Right. Yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember? Mm-hmm. It was like y'all couldn't give her eight hours of bliss. No. Nope. No. Nope. So now that the time is right. And this is where you can right, crush right. the, the they, best. Yeah, yeah. you and, kill him right now. And what irritates me is, is that if he did apologize, which means somebody said, look, you were wrong for doing what you did. And he says, you're right. I'm sorry. It happened to James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy. They brought up stuff from him. And he was like, you know, he, he had said, you're absolutely right. It was a horrible thing. He even apologized. But you could tell he stopped making tweets like that from many years ago. I feel like somebody got to him and said, James, chill out. Stop it. What are you making these tweets for? You're an idiot. Somebody told him he was wrong. He, I think but he nobody admitted. says nothing about the president and all his tweets. Well, <laughs> he, he sends them out three times a day. <laughs> it's yeah, it, it's just so mean. I'm just saying. I'm teaching. I just don't know. I don't know why. I just don't know why he's got to step down if he apologized. And he did. He. I mean, on Twitter, he goes, "I'm deeply sorry." I think he should be back in as the host now. Because I mean, but, but what if he? What if he? So does it look crazy if he goes back and do it now? I don't think so. I think we have to stop having the the career death penalty because that's what yeah. this is. It's career death penalty for some people. You're right. And I'm done with it. It's like if some, if you're a criminal and you serve your time and it's people over. still won't right. forgive you, you're right. why should you then not continue to be I, a criminal? I like that. I like that. I like and that. We, you, we, if you serve your time, it's good. Especially if you if you own it, right? Yeah. You know, and this is a thing that's tough for us. You know, we don't want to be that serious because it's Friday, but just like, yeah. just being a comic right now, you know, because now everybody's being so politically correct yeah. and so safe. Like, you know, it steals the joy of who we are. We're, we're supposed to say the irreverent, you you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to say the stuff that people think but won't say. Now they're like, don't say that. You're going to hurt the little people. Like, you can't even say midget no more. Like, like when I was growing up, the word was midget. Like, you know, now they're like, no, no, they're little people. Which, you know, again. And I'm like, okay, so now if I say a little people joke, are you still mad? But that was even confusing, too, because I'm a, I'm a DT wrestling fan, and there's still midget pro wrestling. See? Tours. Everywhere, but but, but yeah. some but now and we're, we're joking, but we're being serious. But it's like we're not being derogatory. This is just the way it was at the time. Like you know, it's just a word. We're not going. It's bad. like, dude, I love midget wrestling. Mm-hmm. And then you'll get somebody be like, "Hey man, I'm a little people wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an under five foot wrestler player." <laughs> 
Oh, man. I just, I'm sorry. I ran into that. I, I, Get it right, brother. I, I ran into that. I was at the, I was at the Philadelphia Convention Center, uh, and I, for the first time in my life, I went into an all-gender bathroom. I've never done that before, where you go to the bathroom yeah, with the ladies. All gender, all gender bathrooms are weird, right? For me, I'm just being honest. Well, I just never had it happen. I, I had it one time. I was, in, um, I was in Memphis, Tennessee. I thought I was in the wrong bathroom. Yeah. It threw me off, right? I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm standing. I'm like standing there. And the lady came out. I was like, oh! <laughs> I know it's weird. I, I, I literally thought I was in the wrong bathroom. I was like, ma'am. She was like, no, no, it's all gender. I okay, was like, whoa! Not, you're like, why do you guys have urinals? Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, what y'all doing? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they had urinals and they had you know everything. I was happy because I used to watch this TV show, Alan McBeal, and on that show they had an all gender bathroom. I go, I oh, can't wait. Right. For, I oh can't wait gosh. for the day they have one of these. <laughs> they I, was ahead of that time. I was excited, but I Allie got Ali McBeal. I don't know if you guys know. Ali McBeal was like. Uh, uh, was that uh, late? Cal- Calista Flockhart. 1919? Uh, 1999? Yeah. Had to be late 90s, right? Late 90s, right? Yeah. Calista Flockhart Ooh. was hot at that Gil time. Gil Bellows. Yeah. Oh, Gil Bellows. Look at you. Yeah. I only know that because he yelled at us once when I did a radio show. He gave us his number and we called him too early. He says, lose my number. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gil Bellows with the Dude, he down. paid his time for that, bro. He <laughs> paid his time. He forgave you. Forgave I hope him. so. I'm going to look for those tweets. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> I'm looking for his tweets. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Migs is going back like, yo, man, he disrespected me, man. I called him early in the morning. It was early, early, too. It was 540, and he was like, man, lose my number. And ever since then, I've hated him, and I, I hope hate he him. failed. I hope he failed, failed, failed. I'm so happy he's nothing in Hollywood anymore. But, like, but honestly, like, even... <laughs> and before if, that, I was like, Gil Bell's is the coolest. He's my guy. Number. He's my dude. <laughs> well, we're friends. You look like you hurt your feelings. <laughs> I bet it would. I bet, oh, yeah, Steve. BJ. Yeah, BJ, Steve BJ, gets his feelings hurt You can look at look, BJ. BJ let stuff roll off, bro. <laughs> you gave me some Whoa, bad... Well, you are so wrong in that assessment. Yeah. No. You are so wrong. No, he wasn't mad at me when I when I was... Remember when I made the comment about Sarah and didn't know that was his daughter? He didn't. He wasn't mad at me. Oh, he doesn't like that. I let him come back. Yeah. He let me come back. He never, like, banned me from the show. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Hey, Luke, like, he's Luke, a real dude. Luke, Luke, Bill, lose my number. <laughs> lose, <laughs> lose, dude, lose the show. Lose the address. <laughs> lose the address, Bill. <laughs> I remember one time oh, I man. said... I said, uh, and I didn't mean to say a bad word. I was on a radio show, and this was right after the Janet Jackson and boo popped oh, out. Oh, yeah. This, we, remember when radio oh, yeah. went like oh, absolutely oh, yeah. like Because they anal. came after us more than TV. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They, they had people signing um, uh, disclaimers and stuff. You mm-hmm. you won't do, you know, say bad words or anything, yep. right? I literally slipped. And it wasn't even a real curse word. I don't, I'm not even going to say, but I said, a, you know, just D by mistake. Spurs! Sh- My mic went off. I was like, hello? <laughs> done. Like, You're done. We're done with the interview. Wow. It's over. No. Yo, they they they, they, they shut. You leave? I was shunned. You ever been shunned? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's by Gil Bellows. Oh, that's not professional. Dude, dude because this Who was that. Who does that? Dude, when the Janet Jackson nipple popped out. The whole radio world yeah, froze up for about three man. years. I'm not because I, I was no I was because I like was that. in Boston when it happened. I remember oh, vividly my, yeah, my because th- the DJs were like, "Dude, they had everyone sign oh, uh, X Y to the Z." Now it's yeah. tight, man. You know, and we were laughing, and I slipped by mistake. They shut me down. Damn. Yo. Don't they? Wow. They so did you walk out as they were still on the air? I was talking, but like no, a weird was walk out of my shame? microphone. I was like, Wow. It was nothing was coming out. Yeah, shut your mic and my off. And just, said, it's, the it's interview's a, over. Wow. And I just put my, t- you know, this is how you know you hurt when you just take your headphones off. Like shut them down. Yeah, you yeah. gotta walk out oh. like that. Oh. <laughs> That sucks. I Bill Bellamy. Alleyway, they shut me down, bro. Bill Bellamy's at the part of the live tonight and tomorrow. Two shows at 7.30 and 10 o'clock. You got to go see the show. You want tickets, we you want info. don't stop. Parlorlive.com. And we don't Migs, stop. Migs, you coming tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Migs is in the building. Yeah. Hey, you know, his fan base is crazy. <laughs> they got ring dings, ding dongs, and fruit roll-ups. You better bring your ho-hos. Bring your ho-hos. That's right. <laughs> Now here's a question for you. What happens when someone goes on social media to brag about losing weight, but none of her friends think that she has? It's another edition of Facebook Drama, and Bill Bellamy's going to join us. We're going to do that. Yes. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's get it. 817 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW. The Rock of Seattle. Now. 
And Facebook Drama is brought to you by Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical. And BJ, this is our opportunity to point out the idiots that are on Facebook. This is an actual Facebook <laughs> post. Yeah. The drama unfolds because of it, and we are all going to act it out, including our guest, Bill Bellamy, who's we at the Part of the Live this weekend. Out. Let's go. Yes. Partofthelive.com, all the info. All right, so playing the role of the original poster will be you, BJ. You will be Maria. Oh, nice. Rev, you're going to be Shel- Shelby. Sweet. Bill Bellamy, you will be Izzy. Izzy, dude, I'm here, man. I think Izzy's a woman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, there's a guy that he's look at that he's like Meryl Streep you give him any role I can do anything and I'll play the role of Jay so once again the original poster is BJ so BJ please take it away I am losing weight and feeling great you are that is great oh you saw me like two days ago Shelves. did I not look any different um not really I thought you had gained a little weight actually but I guess I'm wrong yay don't lie, honey. I saw you last weekend, and you have not lost out any weight. But don't worry. We will get you fitness. Get your fitness on track ASAP. Really, Mom? <laughs> but you kept telling me how beautiful I looked. It's a good thing you got blessed with such a gorgeous face, because that body needs work, child. <laughs> Ouch. Your mom is harsh. <laughs> good thing I love all women, every size. Keep eating, girl. Keep e- eating. Excuse me, Jay, but you should not support her unhealthy lifestyle. And you should not be such a see you next Tuesday to your own daughter. Why are you telling me you're going to, to see me next Tuesday? I don't want to see you any Tuesday. <laughs> Mom, it doesn't mean that. Just don't worry about it. What that one is, what's that one saying about the pushing and the cushion? I know what they're saying, and I'm starting to really dislike you, Jay. LOL, LOL, LOL. <laughs> How do you guys do this? That's, a, that's like a, a play. I know, and dude, that's real people. That's they, like, they really had that discussion. Yeah, they, they, these people have the dumbest discussions on Facebook. And Facebook moms is and for kids. very sensitive people. Oh yeah. my gosh! I mean, You're you not cannot kidding. post anything on Facebook that doesn't start a a a Category Five earthquake. And we love it because we have a lot of listeners, and they got a lot of family, and there's a lot of drama, and they send us stuff, and we're like, we this is awesome. It's yeah, the I, always so, the I always say sa- save all the sensitive people for Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want to just buck wild and go to Twitter, and if you, <laughs> and if you got crazy, crazy funny videos, go to Instagram because they're, thr- they're they're three different people. If you think about like audiences, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everything on your Facebook should be family. Yeah. Right. It's nice. Soccer moms. <laughs> yeah. You know they have really good recipes for certain things, and people are getting changing their stali- status on the daily. Yeah. You know, I'm back to Jesus, not to Jesus. You know. You always got those status changes uh-huh. real quick. Oh, yeah. And yep. you know what? I just got saved. Yeah. On a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, and then Saturday man. they're wasted. And, and, right back yeah. it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. At least, you know, it went, it went a couple days. Je- yeah, you went a couple Jesus days. worked for a couple days. I always love the ones that are like, I'm, I'm at the gym, and they're, every day they're posting a picture, like accountability, and then all of a sudden you just don't oh, see any pictures yeah, of them at the gym. Yeah, you couldn't hold it, bro. <laughs> what happened, man? The Krispy Kreme box. That's yeah, a good point. That comes they in. Are delicious. Yo, I don't know if y'all, if it was a blessing from God, we started talking about snacks. Yeah. And let me tell you, when you speak to the gods, sometimes the gods speak back. Do you know, Jesus? John and David came in here with a box of Krispy Kreme. Do you mean Paul and David? I mean Paul and David. Yeah, that, that, I, too. Paul and David yeah. just walked in here. Let me describe what's in the box. Can I do that, Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> when did Vicky get to be in charge? Because she just seems like she knows stuff. Yeah, she does. Look, yeah. they got the sugary one. If you like Krispy Kreme, here we go. Festive. They got the they got the festive colors. Yeah. They got the they got the one with the little bitty, cute little um, penguin on it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we got the sugary. On we it. Do, it is. He's cute. And then uh, we have the cinnamon one. We got the chocolate. We got the chocolate with a Christmas tree on it. Oh, we yeah. We got the chocolate with some zigzags. Mm-hmm. We got the the old crumb one. The crumb one that you have with your coffee. Oh, yeah. Black. No sugar. The sprinkles. The sprinkles. Yeah. That's the one my mom would dip in her Didn't coffee. they always have this one donut that looked like drywall? You know. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Why do they do that? <laughs> All right. So you only. You can only pick one. Which one are you picking? I'm going to tell you right now. If I had to pick one and I could only get it's one. It's got to be the drywall. <laughs> no, no. I'm drywall gonna, don't look like it'll do it for you. I'm going to go with the one with 
the little penguin. Yeah. I won't eat the penguin, but I'm going to eat the green stuff. Oh, you going to let the penguin live? Yeah, you got to let him live, man. He's cute. You don't want to eat his little feet and stuff. <laughs> let him live. Like you, that's, like, that's like when you eat the cake, right? When you eat the cake and there's something on the cake. Sometimes it feel weird eating that part. Yeah. You yep. want to cut around it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they do a picture of you on your cake. You don't eat yourself. I feel weird about the name also because I don't want to, like, I feel like I'm eating that person when I eat the I name. I know. You yeah. know, it's like, happy birthday, Sally, and you eat the Sally part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depending, depending on who Sally is, maybe that's a good cake. Hey, can I tell you the funniest thing? You just reminded me of a story, right? So my daughter was probably six years old. This is when Dora the Explorer oh, yeah. was like the bomb. Yeah, right? Dora, yeah, and Dora I was my, in charge. You remember it? And it was a Handy Manny. Oh, yeah. Right? They go back and back. So anyway, my daughter was her sixth birthday. We're doing the real Dora Explorer to come to the birthday party. Mm-hmm. It's going to blow my daughter's mind because I'm a real dad. That's how I roll. That's right. Do you know I had the porn Dora the real explorer come it was the wrong dora right what dude this shit. what what wait, wait, wait a second wait wait wait, wait, wait it's wait. a true story well, i thought it was an accent you said no. you said porn it's like a porn dora like this different oh, but i didn't know no. <laughs> what's so, she exploring you got like all these moms oh, no. and all these kids oh. like happy birthday and here comes dora the, the porn explorer <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. This girl oh, is man. the over sexy Dora. She comes uh, oh, in the no. yard. No. Zipped down to here, bro. Oh, man. Boom, pow, boom. Almost like a belly short, button. And she's like, hey. <laughs> Everybody was like, who the hell? Oh, no. I was like, hey, ma'am, hey, ma'am, hey, ma'am. This ain't the right party, baby. I'm like, oh, my gosh. She was like, someone ordered the Dora for the birthday. I was like, not that one. (laughs) Man. All the moms was like, Uh, oh. (laughs) Who got this? <laughs> All the kids were like, "That's not the Dora we know." <laughs> and look at me, looking stupid. And now every no dad's way. like, "Hell yeah!" And Bill. All the dudes was like, "Let party. her stay." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You paid for her. Yeah, and she paid for. Come on, I'm doing a tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have been. I was like, I do not see a problem with what I, she's exploring here. None of the dudes was mad. Like, yo, man, who yeah. did that? Yeah, <laughs> he's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'd be taking you aside like, I don't know how you survived this marriage. but Dude, I was in the doghouse forever. Because there's no way she's going to think that's a mistake. No, it's like, but that's some L.A. stuff. Yeah. That's some L.A. Yeah. Would you, who in their right mind would think you're going to have Dora explore that there's a different Dora? I'm like, I know one looked at the little X's. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> what is the X's in the corner? Yeah, what is that? She's got mean? three stars. No, it's three oh, X's. X's bro. Yeah, three X's. <laughs> it's a true story. Yeah, what, is, what is Dora thinking when she's, I mean, how, at some point she's got to be like, I think I might be the wrong party because she's seeing toddlers. It's some, or does she go, no, well, you know what? she came around the corner like uh, in character oh, and just like oh, blew oh. everybody away. And she was like, hey, guys. Everybody oh. was like, whoa. So always pay attention to the details. That's yeah. the moral to that story. Pay attention to the X's on <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, the X's always mean something. Oh, Bill. Yeah, Unless I, you're a single dad, then don't. Yeah, right, if you're best. a single yeah. dad and you're trying to get back at your baby mama, bring her! Yeah. <laughs> I just... Uh, Let it ride! I, I hate you, Sophia! I just... <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I'm letting Dora explore this. Oh, <laughs> Dora explore this, Tokyo. I've just decided that whenever we have any sort of events, we need to put Bill Bellamy in charge yes. of the entertainment. Dude, let yeah. me order this yeah. stuff for you because I don't read the details. No, you don't. <laughs> Dude, I'll just have like, you'll be like, Bill, can you just get me, uh, uh just get me, um, um, what's the, what's the character of uh, the, the cute with the green character from Disney? What it was, uh, Elsa? Uh, Mermaid, uh, oh, uh, Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. Bill, just get me Ariel. And I, I won't even read that there's eight different Ariels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll just be like, they want Ariel. Yeah. And this Ariel will come in there and you will be blown away. Because yeah, all will. the dudes will be like, man, this is a nice Ariel. That's yeah, you right. got Ariola, the dirty mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Bring in Ariola.
<laughs> That's who he brought in. <laughs> oh, Everybody throws yeah. Bill Bellamy under the bus. Yo, Bill ordered every yoga. <laughs> <laughs> but you can stay, sweetheart. That's right. <laughs> I can swim. <laughs> 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 like, dude, oh, man. dude humor and woman humor is so different. Like, it women is. will be all mad, and dudes don't care. <laughs> this is the thing I'm like, I love about real dudes. Dudes don't really get hung up on mistakes like that. No. You make a mistake like that with your chick, it's like, oh, it's devastation. A dude will be like, yo, let's work through it. Yeah. <laughs> how long, how many hours? <laughs> we already paid for it. We already paid for it. I, I tell you what, Ariola, I tell you what. <laughs> Would you like a tequila? We can make this work. We can make this work. <laughs> this is not an uh, this is not an unsolvable situation. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I love like guys. Guys, we are we are very very simple when yeah. it comes to certain things. Like we don't like guys. This is the difference, Vicky. You can help us out on this. Women change girlfriends. Yeah, every. That's true. Three, four weeks, months, yeah. they fight. Dudes, it, dude, we will get in an argument about a sport topic or what? And it's a rap. It's not even something that we would hang on to. Like, oh man, you know, Todd said the Patriots suck, and da da da, big man. On to the next one. Women are like, Ugh. you know what? What she said to me in the bathroom about my eyebrows, it was uncalled for. Well, here's the thing. You don't mess with anybody's eyebrows. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, there's, like, rules that women yes. have that guys would never think about. You know, you never ask a woman, are your eyebrows real? Are your, are your, are, are, are my, are my boobs real? You know I paid 13000 <laughs> By the way, if you got to ask somebody if their eyebrows are real, they're not. They're not. Right. Yeah. But, like, women hold on to that stuff yeah, like that. Do. Like, guys, we are so different. Women, y'all get mad. Y'all will hold that mug in there and let yeah. it slow cook. Yeah. I mean, right? Yes. There's some girlfriend right now that you're like, you know what? She could drop that. Oh, yeah. I have right? a couple. <laughs> this is why I don't hang out with people. I don't understand it. I don't understand. A lot guys, of times, do we do that? I did, and it happens at parties. Like, you go to a party. You and go, the what? whole energy gets shifted. Yeah, we got drinking and we got eating. How all of a sudden are people upset? I mean, there's no, there's nothing a human being can How say to me. How many times have you been make at a wanted. party oh, with your girl mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden, I think it's time we, to go? Oh. Um, you like, I just got three jerks. And Dora the Explorer, you just came in. <laughs> I know. We got to go now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think it's time we, we should go. I, yeah. I don't, you know what? I don't want, you can drink it if you want to. We got a text message for Bill. It says, uh, hey, does Bill have any crazy Christmas traditions? Yeah, we got Bill Bellamy, by the way. Parvalive.com. Yes, I do. All With right. your family? Yes. You got to, you got to do a real tree. Oh. Got to do a real tree. Yeah, I gave tree. that up for Lent. Got to go to the <laughs> spot. You got to go to the real spot and, you know, get the real tree and stuff. I think and, you got to do that. I mean, I, I, at least once in your life you got to because that's a great thing. But I don't know. Do you get to a certain time in your life where that is just too much work or do you love doing it every year? I just love doing it because I love the smell of the house. Oh, yeah. I like mm -hmm. the smell of the real tree because I spray. grew up. I mean, you know, they got I mean, the spray now. They, they got those little sticks. Flocked. I get it flocked, too. Yeah? Uh, you don't flock your trees? I, I don't know what that Come on, man. You look like a flock. Do you get Ariola to help? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you look like you a flock. I think brother. you can get arrested for that, Bill. Last time I checked, you own that flock. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, <laughs> but I like because uh, when I grew up, we didn't have a real tree. You know, I grew up in the hood, like you, Mix. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> with my <laughs> with your triscuits, <laughs> with my homemade crab. <laughs> did you homemade uh, home rice krispie right, treats? Yeah, rice krispie treats. Now, Bill, right. I don't know how old you are, but did you have because did you have that silver tree with the color wheel? Because because we didn't have a real tree in my house. You either. see what I'm saying? Yeah, we didn't Going have old that. school. They don't yeah. know about this. Y'all ain't yeah. about that life. So anyway, those um, <laughs> you know, I hate this dude. The one year we had the, the real BS tree because my mom was like, "Well, we're gonna have the tree that you could put on the kitchen table, the little one." Oh, bro, yeah. man, that's like loser tree, bro. Yeah, like you just look at that tree and you just want to swipe it off the table because because <laughs> you can't put no ornaments on it. Yeah, <laughs> two ornaments in his full. I'm just picturing little Bill Bellamy like this is bull crap. This it's, is crap. It, it is that you old person easy wanted, tree. Let me tell you, when I was yeah. a kid, the Macy's tree was my quintessential tree. Yeah. So like, if you went to Macy's and saw with this tree when I was a kid, it looked like it was thirty feet tall. Yeah. And it had one billion balls on it. Oh yeah. And one million lights. I was like, yo, when I get rich. 
I'm going to get the Macy's trick. <laughs> nice. I don't know why I used to say that. When I get rich. That's right. I'm going to get the Macy's tree or the Home Alone tree. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Yeah, Remember yeah. the Home Alone the tree? Home Alone tree was Yeah, sweet. the Home Alone tree was balling, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was a nice tree. I, you know what? And I, I finally got that Macy's tree. Oh, you got the Macy's tree? I got it, bro. Come on. Got to go get it. It's not 30 feet. The biggest tree I put was 15. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's a, a nice tree. That's, a, that's too big. Yeah, if you need a ladder to put an ornament Man, on. Man, you oh, can't even get up that. there, bro. You got to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, yo. Yo, you, you, playing, you, you playing think the 15 toss. foot tree is, is gangsta until you got to put something up there and you kill yourself and fall through the tree? Have you ever <laughs> have you ever done that? Like, was it, well, I forgot what movie. Dude, because certain trees, you know, you got to get up there and you're a little, got to reach a little too far. Right here? And fall into the tree and knock the tree down. Yeah. That was me. Uh. <laughs> So, Bill, you got you got the big tree. Yeah. There's a, there's a list of things that we got from folks that uh, this is what they do, and I want to know if anybody does this. Okay. Dressing up the cat in a holiday costume. I hear when people do that with their pets, and we had to. My, my wife used to want to do that. We do that with Lulu. She yeah. dresses up as an elf, and I'm Santa. But I'm just saying, man, that's uh, white people stuff right yeah. there, bro. Well, I, ain't, well, yeah, I mean, white come people, on. Really? There's nobody. There's, but, but, but no you've never no seen that in your life. You've never seen they... anybody outside of white people do that, really? Are we the, are we the only weird ones that you do that? You guys are not weird. You just do fun, kooky stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like, like, think about it. White people, y'all do some some cool, simple, fun stuff, man. Like, people are scared to do it, but white people ain't scared. <laughs> You're like, man, if I don't, man, get that sweat and put on that cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, wait wait, till, wait till Sparky see the sweat. So I had thought about that, whereas in other, where other folks might go, we might get judged. We're just not going to do white this. White people don't judge each other over yeah. animals, bro. If your dog or your cat look cute, man, y'all take pictures. Do you understand? White people are the only people that put their cats and dogs and parrots in family pictures. Mm-hmm. The cat, the dog's in the family picture. Oh, do yeah, we? Right. Yeah. What? Yeah. I had dog yeah, about He's a cards. part of the family, bro. Yeah, I don't go for that. I know. Skip. All right. It's nice to know that maybe, maybe I'm just in the wrong. Maybe I'm in the wrong community because I don't think you should be doing that. BJ, come so, on. But that's don't not judge. weird. Give me another one. Here's a picture of me with uh, dressed as Santa with my elf dog. Come on, man. And that dog is cute. I can't even judge. Bro. Right. I want to hate. I want to hate. As soon as I see the dog and the dog's like, man, he make me wear this every every, every year. Oh, I know. It's look. look at, oh God, that's you guys really. You must got a billion followers off that. That's crazy. <laughs> It is okay, adorable. Honestly, I want you know what I want to be like your, your father, and I just want to go punch you out in that costume. Punch him in the face. Yeah. Next, what's our next? How thing? about Mario Kart? People play Mario Kart on Christmas morning. Uh, That's like a tradition. No. That'd be awesome if we could play I video mean, it games for like a tradition. Fun. Well, Mario Kart because everybody can play. I'm gonna so play, like, yeah, but I'm gonna play Madden. I want to play a game, yes. like a sports game. Like I yeah. wouldn't play Mario Kart. I was never like a, a Mario guy. That's Nintendo, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wasn't I'm you? strictly PlayStation and Xbox. Oh, I stay true to okay. my to my people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't cross you don't cross yeah. consoles, don't bro. Don't cross consoles. What, 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 what console are you, bro? PlayStation. Yeah, you go. Yeah, represent. But the hold X, on a second. You said PlayStation, and Xbox. I mean, those guys butt heads. Yeah, you but, some, cross but those certain, consoles. certain games recently right. we used to then commingle with them. Yeah, you have. You to. know what I'm I saying? Mean, you're right. Xbox over there. Yeah, if you but have. Then to, there's certain games that you got to come over. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. How about so, give, how about giving each other ugly ornaments? Because that's a tradition that people hmm. do. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, that's cool. Got one one like a gag ornament. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Oh, all what right. about the ugly sweater thing? Oh, everybody's doing that now. It's almost to the point it's, where it's, it's almost played out. Yeah, Too many people. Okay. Yeah, I, th- I, mean, I still have one, but I got like that. It's so played out that I'm a huge geek, and you can get all these Star Wars, Star Trek, Star everything uh, sweaters that are Christmas related. Like that's how that's how deep it goes got, now with these sweaters. No, everybody's got a sweater. Get out of there. How about uh, camping in the living room on Christmas Eve? Now I do love that idea. I've never done it. But oh, that's what we. That's my brother and I to this day Y'all still camp do it. in the really? living room. Oh, that's well, cool. Oh, my parents would send me upstairs because like the Santa. You, you exactly. can't be in the did, did, What is Santa tiptoe around you guys? Yeah, exactly. Like every year we try to catch him. And so we would get, we would make like a little fort by where the heater was. So we uh, get the heat in the blankets. That's cute. And you then, could catch him if you had Dora the Explorer with you. I, yeah. We could have. Oh, we never were able to catch him. Too sly. Bringing bikes and stuff. I don't oh, know how he did it. Oh, put together too? Yeah. 
Man. That's Santa knows what's up. It. He knows how he's doing Santa it. Santa is a G, man. Shout out to Santa Claus. I love you, dude. I got, by the way, congrats to your family, Vicky, because look, when you are, you know, when you're living in a home that Santa visits and the kids can't wait, you try to make sure that the kids are sound asleep, yes. not too near the scene of the crime, and your parents allow the, you to be near the scene of the crime. Right. That's but amazing. We were just hard sleepers. We I never woke that. up. They gave you guys Benadryl. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you. Bill, you're right. Bill, that's that's how they did it. What is wrong with me? <laughs> they, drunk, they couldn't wake up if they wanted to. Yeah, that's a good call. We smell also this. know what's wrong with Vicky these days. Yeah. Now, yeah. So yeah, Vicky, smell this napkin. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. It smells she like wake, childhood. She, she wakes up on New Year's, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh? I missed it. Here's a box. I love this box. Thank you. Somebody says they had they had a pickle ornament on the tree. Whoever finds it gets a secret gift. Yeah, Usually we the gift is for the whole family. We do the Christmas pickle. Oh, oh really? what? This is a thing? I didn't it even know about that. European I heard tradition. about that one. Yeah, so what it is is there's a what? pickle on the tree. Okay. It's an ornament. And then uh, when you unveil the tree, the, the kids will look for that ornament. The first one to find it gets a special pickle prize. So what happens <laughs> What happens if the Christmas pickle is directly underneath mistletoe? What does that mean? Oh, boy. No, you got to kiss, kiss the pickle, yeah. Kiss it's that a German, pickle. It's right. a German tradition. <laughs> oh, I bet oh, it is. It, you looked that up? Yeah. Vicky is a beast. <laughs> I remember Look up my that, first uh, pickle. That door to explore. Oh, number. I found a bunch. Don't worry. You I saved it for later. <laughs> she got the door explored. And she knew I'm not lying. She looked it up. It's yeah. real. There's a place in Michigan that's known as the Christmas pickle capital of the world, and they have a pickle parade. Oh, I don't understand why pickles are part of Christmas. I'm not really. Okay. Yeah, what, what, what is Charlie Brown's? What, I how don't a pickle get in the game? That's the pickle. Nah, I'm nah, not. I'm not know. big on pickles, bro. Yeah. I'm. I'm big on relish, though. For whatever right. reason. Oh, that would be tough to put on the tree if you could find the relish. It's all over the tree, honey. If you could find the relish, <laughs> I think this is relish. It better be. I mean, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. I don't know what. I the don't hell know this what, is. what that was. I don't know. Bill Bellamy at the Parlor Live tonight and tomorrow, <laughs> seven thirty and ten o'clock show. Tickets are available at ParlorLive.com. And uh, you know what? Uh, we have a special edition of Beat Megs. Yes, yeah, we Bill do. Bell- me. Yeah, because yesterday Steve did get this one wrong. How many suns does the desert planet of Tatooine rotate around? Six. No. Nine. No. Eight. No. No, we're looking for two. Come on. I can't. Sorry. Come on, man. You're not getting a Star Wars Christmas sweater. That's it. Can I get a Christmas pickle? All right, you got a Christmas pickle. You want Bill Bellamy to play for you against Steve? Call Danny's cell phone, 206-449-1181. 206-449-1181. We're playing Beat Migs with Bill Bellamy at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I figure out who my creditors are? Now, people a lot of times have had a lot, a long time of not having good credit and having collections, and so they, they're concerned that uh, you may be concerned that you, you won't be able to find all your creditors if you file bankruptcy. How will I know which collection agency has my credit card bill from 10 years ago now? Uh, and that's that's something that's hard to keep track of when because credit collection agencies transfer your debts all over the place. But we will pull all your credit bureaus, and by getting all three of your credit bureaus, we'll be able to tell who has your credit and debt now, uh, which collection agencies have had it in the past, and we'll make sure that we file all your creditors when we file your bankruptcy so that nothing slips through the cracks. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.